Sicilian defense, Tamanov, Vastrikov variation, 6.G3 a 6.7.BG2D68.00BD7. BG Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. e6 creates an opening for the dark squared bishop and opens a new diagonal for the queen. d4 offers to trade the more important central d4 pawn for the c5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nc6 challenges the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and puts more pressure on the d5 square. Qc7 defends the knight on c6 and controls the important d6 and e5 squares. G3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to G2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. A6 controls the B5 square and prepares the B5 pawn push. Bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. D6 controls the E5 and C5 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Bd7 develops the bishop defends the black knight and opens the way for black to castle queenside. It is the last book move. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is a mistake. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. 